Bryant Edwards was hired as the boys basketball coach at Lumberton. There wasn't a lot of expectations, at least from those outside the program. The Pirates had little to no history to speak of. One Final Four appearance, which came back in the 60s. However, something had Edwards convinced that things were about to change. I was sitting here debating between a couple jobs and something kept pulling me here. I don't know what it was, something kept pulling me here. It didn't take long before the players could recognize a difference. Right from the start, the vibe and the focus was something they hadn't seen and or experienced. It went nice, it was hard. Like, every day we came to practice, we were supposed to be ready to work. If we weren't ready to work, he'd make us run. It just feels good to get a new coach that he just like knows what he's doing, so it just helped the program out. The Pirates started off red hot, winning their first five games. The club was rolling, feeling good. That was until a setback against Marion in early December. A setback which would change the course of the season. After we watched that film, the next six games, we just went on a tear. Lumberton would win the next five to end the non-conference schedule on a tear. Things were clicking, the confidence level was sky high, and there was a sense that 2020 could be special. I thought it was going to take the new coach to get a little bit of time, but we overcame that and we played together, and that's all it needed for us to just click. Over the next several months, the Pirates would put themselves in position to capture the conference title. Community support was through the roof. This program, these kids, had reached rock star status. It was like so awesome like to see the community come together, something we ain't really had in a couple past years. The Pirates would finish second in conference behind Pinecrest, a team they'd hope to face in the postseason. However, they would draw the defending state champs in the first round. So they're a 20-plus win seat, uh, team this past year. So, you know, our draw wasn't, wasn't very easy. After defeating South Central, the Pirates would rat off the next four, and each time out, they got better, stronger, and more confident. We just got better and better and better and better defensively. We played um, through those five games. We played the best defensively through those five games that we have all year. The team would get their revenge on Pinecrest in the state semifinals, beating the Patriots by 19, vaulting this team into the state championship. Right time we won, I was, I was ready to go to Chapel Hill. I was ready to get down there and play and get a shot at that ring. But just when the title was in reach, the coronavirus forced the North Carolina High School Athletic Association to cancel the title game. To see their faces, the seniors immediately broke down in tears. Um, they were devastated. They were heartbroken. It felt like the world was coming down on me. I cried because I'm a senior and it hurt. I just knew me and my team deserved that chance. Uh, nobody ain't did it in program history, so I just, I just felt like that was our time. However, not all was lost. This team set the standard and left a huge impression and a legacy that won't soon be forgotten. The administration, the students, um, everybody's going to be talking about this team for, for the next few years and maybe for a long time. The boys had made the city come back together. Uh, it's going to leave a big mark, and I just hope the program keeps growing. Reporting on the Pirates in Lumberton, Brandon Dunn, ABC 15 Sports. Well, folks.